Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise here on Madden 20. As today, our Lions coming off a nice 37-31 overtime victory in Week 1 over Miami Dolphins, led by a big performance from our second-year quarterback, Tez Lawson, who ended up winning NFC Offensive Player of the Week, which is very, very cool to see. I don't think he's ever won a Player of the Week in his career. I guess he didn't as a rookie, so... Good start to the sophomore campaign for Tez. I mean, many great players, you see sophomore slumps, and it doesn't look like we'll get one, at least if week one is any indication. Today's opponent is the New England Patriots, and a player to watch out for on their team is cornerback Stephon Gilmore. From the past, I'd say five years or so, at least, I guess, in this series, since now that we're in season four, Gilmore has been a top three corner in the NFL, and he's going to be a tough matchup for Juju or Galladay, whoever he happens to be covering. And something I did not mention last episode is the captains. We have three new captains and three captains who have been captains since the start of the series. So the captains who have remained captains since day one have been Carrion Johnson, Jared Davis, and Darius Slay. And then the three new captains, all new this season, are Tez Lawson, Frank Ragnow, and Tracy Walker. So here we go, week two NFL action. As the 1-0 Detroit Lions head to Ford Field for the first time in this regular season, their home opener is going to be against Jared Goff in the 0-1 New England Patriots. Obviously, the Tom Brady era has ended in New England, and to be specific, the Tom Brady and Bill Belichick era has ended. And now it's the Jared Goff slash Griffin Masters show in Beantown as the Lions getting ready for the home faithful trying to put on a show and get their first win of the season. New England trying to spoil Detroit's uh, home debut and get themselves a road win as I don't know why Phillip Rivers has a sexy introduction. He's not a starter on this team. Let's go first quarter, first down. Here's Goff tipped and intercepted by Justin Coleman. Nice play from Davis to deflect the ball, and then Coleman picks it off. You can't spell intercepted without the D. Lions have it back as on third and four, Lawson would be sacked by Sheldon Rankins, the former New Orleans Saint, so the turnover does not lead to points for Detroit. Patriots have it back, third and six, lob pass, and it will be caught. Bad play by Slay, who misses the tackle, and David Moore, I believe that is, will bring it to about the five. First and goal, New England going to try to punch it in as Jared Goff under pressure, and he would be sacked. There's Mike Renwick going downstairs where Daddy hides the vodka. Quite a game in this one for Renwick. More on him quite soon. And when I say quite soon, I mean right now. Is third and goal. Wash, rinse, repeat. Mike Renwick for rookie with his second sack of the day. He got a sack last week too against Miami. So quite the start to his NFL career. And then fourth down, Patriots go for the field goal. However, there is a roughing the kicker penalty on the Lions, so the Patriots get it back. Second down, there's Mike Renwick with his third sack of the quarter. Actually, third of the drive over being technical. However, on third and nine, despite three sacks from Renwick while the Patriots were in the red zone, they will end up scoring. As there's Renwick's former collegiate teammate at Illinois, running back Jerome Massey with the touchdown, the second-round rookie, making it 7 nothing for New England. Here returns Detroit, third and four. Nice pass over to the rookie wideout, Lawrence Parnell, coming off a strong debut a week ago in South Beach. And that second and inches, handoff for Carrion Johnson. And watch this! He might have just ended a man's career. I believe that's the safety prior. Just getting manhandled by Carrion Johnson, the new captain. We got to look at that nasty stiff arm again. Holy smokes! What a play from KJ. And then first down, Lawson under pressure. He would be sacked by Nick Vigil, the former Cincinnati Bengal, former Utah State Aggie. Played his high school ball in Utah. A few uh, of the Westlake players went to Vigil's high school, if that means anything. He was on third and 19. There's Juju Smith-Schuster with the first down, or as Antonio Brown would say, Bubo Schuster. So now third and goal from the three. Detroit having trouble punching it in. Will they do it here? Yes, they will. As the great RNP once said, when in doubt, just carry on. Touchdown for carry on Johnson. And the Lions will tie the game up at seven. He returns Detroit's offense. Is carry on Johnson with a nice few blocks. Stiff arms, another defender. Take it easy, kiddo. Carry on Johnson is an absolute madman right now. 
Second and seven. Here's Tez Lawson. He's going to get it over to his tight end, TJ Hawkinson, in his fourth year out of Iowa. Third and goal. Can Detroit get another third down touchdown? They do not. Galladay's pass, or the pass to Galladay, I should say, is deflected. It's so now fourth and goal. Here is Matt Prater for the field goal. It is good. Prater missed a field goal and got a field goal blocked last week, which is more misses than he had all of last season, which was one. Patriots have it back as the Lions are up by three. Third and nine. New England does not get the first down. Jelani Tavai and friends with the tackle for D Detroit. And the Lions get the ball back with a little bit of time here in the first half as Tez Lawson going to show off the wheels, getting it over to Juju Smith-Schuster, who has open field. And he will make a nice play. Should have ran out of bounds, but gain of 27. No need to complain there for the Lions after a no huddle. Detroit now has it with about 30 seconds left as Lawson would, have, would end up being sacked by Sims and maybe... Detroit should have ran out of bounds or called a timeout. Anyway, on to the second half. Lions up 10-7, third and eight. Here's T-Law looking to throw it. He's going to show up the moves in the pocket, and he's going to get it to Kenny Galladay. Coming off a two-touchdown performance in week one, including the game winner in overtime. Galladay was a little bit quieter today, but still not bad. Second down, nice out route for Juju Smith-Schuster, bringing it inside the red zone, and the Lions are moving it. Third and goal now. Detroit should be able to punch it in as Tez Lawson. He's going to try to throw it, and I'm going to lie about that. Instead, he's going to try to run it in, and he does not get it. So fourth and goal at the two. Tough choice here for the Lions. It looks like they're going to end up sending the field goal unit out. Matt Prater's kick would be good. The Lions decide to play it safe as they double the lead up to about six. So now it is 13-7. to seven. Here's Goff under some pressure, and he is sacked by Jared Davis, the former Florida Gator, making the play. Now from the 31, here's Miles Sanders for change of pace back with a juke move. He's even getting in on the fun a little bit, gaining 19. Nice run right there from the former Penn State Nittany Lion. That would lead to absolutely nothing, though, as we move on to the fourth quarter. Here's Goff on third and four, getting it. Two of a white boy. That's the tight end for a first down, and the New England should be moving it. First reception for him today. And then from the 46, very next play. Goff under pressure, and he'd be sacked by the former Patriot, Trey Flowers. This is the first time Flowers has played against his former team, technically second because these two teams faced off in the preseason a few years ago, but I don't know if we really want to get technical. Third down there is it is Jordan Neckwood, the former Louisville Cardinal with the sack. That means he was teammates with Lawrence Parnell at one point. Patriots have it back, for not, but not for much longer, as Darius Slay with the interception. And big play Slay doing what he does best, and that is making big plays. You throw that ball nowhere near Slay Island if you're a quarterback. The Lions have it back, third and nine from the 43. Can Detroit convert? And the answer is no. Bad pass from Lawson. And New England still has a very solid shot to win this game. Third and three. Pass doinks off a running back's head, and it is incomplete. So New England's drive goes for nothing, and now Detroit has it back. You know, they should be able to chew the clock if they do this properly. Third and 13 is wide open up the field is Kenny Galladay for the first down. Just plain old bad coverage from the Patriots. And then second and six. All the lines need is a first down, and they're going to get a little bit more as Carrion Johnson. Finds the end zone for the Lion touchdown. They're going to go for two, try to make this game a 14-point affair, and that's what they would do. Is Tez Lawson going to show off the wheels, making it 21-7? to So now New England has it back. Fourth down. The pass is broken up by Chidobe Awuzie, and the Patriots' drive would fail. So now the Lions are going to try to finish off this game, and they're going to end up doing that as Carrion gets the first down. Quite a performance in this one for Johnson. And the Lions would have a little bit of extra time. So they're going to have to kick the field goal, making it 24-7. to But that's all she wrote. Good win in th this one for the Lions as they beat the Patriots by the final score of 24-7. to